We are tabling minutes tonight, correct? Yes. Yes. So we're going right to correspondence. Mason. Correspondence. Uh, the office received monthly reports of police and fire chiefs as well as CERT emergency management for the month of December 2018. Thank you. Uh, the office also received notice that the fire department has been awarded $3,754 for student awareness of fire department SAFE grant and $2,400 for the senior SAFE grant. Excellent. And also, the rabies clinic will be held on Saturday, March 9th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Highway Barn. Town clerk will be on hand to issue dog licenses for 2019. March 9th, 9, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. That's correct. At the highway barn. Yep. All right, sir, thank you. Number five, to ratify, I'm sorry, yeah, no. nope. to ratify the letter of support for Pathfinder's plumbing program. So the office received a template from Mr. Pace, the superintendent. So Pathfinder is adding a plumbing program um, to their curriculum, I believe, next year, correct? That's the yes. best thing to do so for next year. So they're looking for the, the member communities to sign a letter of support supporting the program. I fully support Pathfinder and, and all of their, their options that they offer our students in other towns. Uh, I, I support this program. I think I speak for the rest of the board and Mr. Nason that uh, I think it's a great option to continue to add to their curriculum and to afford more opportunities for our students and others. So um, with that being said, Mr. Nason, do you have anything you'd like to add to that? No, I support it just as uh, much as you do, Mr. Murray. So, Mr. Richards has already signed the letter as chair, so it's just a motion to ratify uh, the letter. So moved. So moved. Right. Motion has been made and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Excellent. Uh, next, sir, we have the designation of environmental certifying officer, reappointment, and a vote expected. And that would be Ms. Rebecca Sarah. Do you have a slip with you or no? It's in your book, but it's already well, It's just for the chair. It's just for the chair. How many years have you held this, Rebecca? About four years. Four years now. So, and it's a three-year. Well, it's 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 done on a yearly basis. My term doesn't expire actually until June thirtieth. But Chris Dunphy from Pioneer Valley, he likes to have one closer to the date of the signed, closer to the date of submission of the block grant. So and he puts that all in his stuff. yep, all in his packet, which is due like March first. So, I will make a motion to appoint Ms. Rebecca Sarah. Second. Motion to make a second. Is there any discussion? Seeing that, all in favor. All right. All right. On the discussion list tonight, sir, first thing up is senior tax abatement. And I know, and correct me if I'm wrong, Rebecca, we received, we had a deadline. So our senior tax abatement program, I think we had four people to start this year. Um, we had a cutoff on the, the program itself. We had somebody submit something uh, after the cutoff wanting to participate in senior tax abatement programs. So that's why we're discussing it tonight, whether or not we're going to allow the one person that came in after that to be added to the senior tax abatement uh, for this year. Um, I would like to try and stick to the deadlines. I'm not opposed to it. We didn't really have, I know the senior tax abatement program uh, is really beneficial to a lot of offices. Uh, the seniors do help out greatly in the clerk's office and other areas. So uh, I'm not opposed to it, but I just wish we could try and stick to the dates so we can have it done before January 1st. I'm not opposed as well. I think uh, when I first got the email, my vote was, hey, as long as we're consistent, uh, it didn't really matter to me, but then I found out further information later on of who it was, so I can't really vote on it. Um, but that doesn't mean my original decision doesn't hold true, that I mean, these volunteers or abatement people mm -hmm. provide a service to the town's people. We in turn provide a service to the senior abatement program, so um, that's all I can say about it personally. So. so we can't take a vote tonight because John has to abstain. I'm not opposed to it, and I know we need to notify the individual. Um, and um, so I would say, and I'm, I can't speak for the chair, he's not here to see but did Mark actually give a suggestion as to how he would lean on this one? Or? And just to speak with him in the, in the office, he didn't have an issue with it. So we might as well go forward with them. So we can notify. So what if anybody else opposes? This is it now. Well, we're done now. I mean, my opinion. <laughs> well, we're <coughs> January twenty second. We're gonna step outside of the, the box for a minute, and I'll go back to my consistency. 
uh, if we do it for one and we do get others to come in, then we have to abide by those as well. So uh, I have a, I know legally we've posted, and so it's not an issue, a uh, legal issue, uh, but uh, they are town residents, and if there was anybody else that came forward, I think we would have to entertain those okay. as well. So that's, uh, that's how I feel. So it's, like, I mean, if we do go forward, then if somebody else came forward, we'd have to abide by that as well. Question? Yeah, I'd like to know where this is posted. It was. Well, it was on the town website. It was on the cable access uh, when it came out earlier. Uh, Did they post it like at the senior center or anything so people are aware of it? We had copies here. Yeah. I'm sharing a copy. It was posted. I'm pretty sure she did. I mean, we generally hit all the uh, important areas for seniors to be able to find it. Um, and like I said, it was on cable access. It was here. Um, it wasn't the clerk's and we, office. And we voted at the meeting. We, took, we actually talked Correct. about it at a couple of meetings. Well, a lot of people I know don't have public access channel. So let me ask you this, Ms. Manfield. Is there any other, any, anywhere else we, you think we should post it? That no, if it's posted in the senior center. That would be good enough. Okay. All right. So we're going to Can I just ask a question? What are you, right. you voted on whether or not you can have the program? What's going on here? No, we have the senior taxpayer no, program. program. What we had is uh, we what we would consider a late submission. Right, okay. Somebody we had four people that we approved earlier this year. Somebody else had submitted a letter of interest and wanted to participate in the program. So we're just bringing it up now to discuss it and vote on it whether or not we're going to allow this person to move into the program. Which and I did. Both said yes. Yeah. Well, I did. Mr. Mason. Had I have to abstain. He had to abstain. But Mr. Richards did. In See, the that's, what, that's what was confusing me. Why you abstained? So we're allowing the person to, to get into the program. So we have five seniors then that took advantage of the tax yeah, Originally, Brian, when I made my decision, I had no idea who the person was. Since then, the person has come to light. I know the person personally, so I can't really vote. So, so that person will be allowed in. Um, we'll notify that yeah. person. Yep. Um, we are tabling the custodial position. Um, for a little while, but it is going to be right up there in budget season. So just real quickly, folks, we're looking to staff a custodian uh, here and at the town hall for a little more maintenance. Uh, we've had some hours available here since we had, I don't remember the gentleman's name, uh, Dan, retire. Um, so we haven't used them. It's not like we're looking for more money for this position. We're just looking to try to find somebody that can help out with some basic snow shovel. It's not a maintenance job. It's a, a custodial. Um, so we're going to move on to the town hall boiler, sir. So, for those of you who don't know, we've had a lot of issues with the Town Hall Boiler the last couple of weeks. It went down again last night. We had B&G Mechanical out there again today to repair it and band-aid it. We need to replace the boiler. Um, we're just fixing it and it's lasting for a short period of time and it's failing. Um, we were waiting on quotes to come in from one company. We did receive it just before we came in the room this evening. Uh, I did check with the town account to see what available funds we had to fund a boiler replacement. So we could use some of the town hall maintenance money, which is about $3,000, and we could also use some of the money that's in the town hall repair line, the $7,000 that's there. So there's roughly about $10,000 readily available right now to replace it. Unfortunately, the first quote we received was about $65,000 to replace the boiler, the controls, to re the removal of the old boiler, which is in the basement kind of submerged, and it's in a pit that's really going to take some work to get out. So, with that being said, it's exceeding $50,000. We would have to follow Chapter 30B's procurement laws and go out to bid if it's going to be that. We're going to contact a few more vendors first, see if we can get somebody else to come out here and give us an idea on what the cost is. This vendor did indicate to us that, you know, if we went ahead with the project, he might be able to work with us a little bit on the boiler price. That's, you know, all well and <laughs> good, but I would have liked the best possible price at the start. So, we're going to do our homework and shop it first before we look at if it does come in under 50000 then we can just go with sound business practice and quotes and expedite this. So funding it, and I'll let you speak in just a minute, sir, but funding it is um, another question. We just had a special. We wouldn't have another town meeting to identify funds, but we could petition DOR through the town accountant to declare it an emergency, similar to what we did when we had the, the storm issue here with the tree damage, and ask to draw funds for maybe a transfer. The selectman has some lines that has some money. We could use some money from other areas transfer the money into some 
uh, account to fix this. So we, we have some options. Um, I would just hope that we can get the price a little less than what this is. Um, but we'll, we're going to work on that. And, but we do need to act on this because it seems like the boiler is just failing every other day at this point. Just so everybody's aware that they, uh, the boiler is currently functioning, so we do yep. have heat and hot water. Uh, but there's nothing to say it won't fail again tomorrow. Uh, that's the position we're in right now. The problem we have to, to go on that is, you know, they're coming out every day to just fix it and get it going again. And that's a, an added cost of an hourly wage for however many guys are coming out. So we kind of need to react to this. It's, it's, it's just band-aids, like I said. So we'll keep you posted on it. Um, but it's the board's intent at this point to look to have it replaced and, and, and put a new oil in there. Anything else, sir? Do you have anything else you want to add? No. All righty. Uh, discussion on open meeting law complaint. So, folks, the office did receive uh, an open meeting law complaint, which was dated December. No, I'm sorry. Go back. Where's the date on here? I have the date of the violation. I don't have the date. Um, January 10th. So, as with any complaint, we we'll receive one. Uh, an individual filed a complaint with regards to how we conducted a meeting, an executive session meeting. Um, we can't discuss the complaint in itself, but we're just notifying the town that we have received a complaint. We have 14 days to respond. Um, we need to actually speak with the full board. Uh, Mr. Richards is absent this evening, so we need to have a conversation with the full board and, and come up with a, a response to the complaint. Like I said, we do have 14 days to respond, so I would say not knowing, you know, when our next meeting is Tuesday, but I think we're 24th is 14 days, correct? So our time is, is ticking right now, so I would recommend that one of us or we vote to designate. designate somebody right now that would like to work with Rebecca to at least come up with a response so we meet the timeline and get this off um, <coughs> relatively soon. Well, my vote's for uh, Mr. Nardi. Uh, I'm kind of new to this. Uh, I was new one day too, you know. I'm sorry, I was new one day too. You know. I know. Uh, <laughs> but live and learn, right? It's going to be a learning experience okay. for me. So, yep. Uh, I will gladly take the lead on this one and, 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 and start to draft a response. Um, and keep in mind, I've done this before. Um, I've had complaints go my way, and I've had complaints that I have made violations on that admitting mistakes or, or that the board made a mistake, but if we did, we will take full responsibility for it and we will respond accordingly and we'll wait to see what the AG's office says. So that's all we can discuss this evening with the members that are present um, and a response will be forthcoming shortly. Treasury warrants and invoices, sir. All right. Uh, Mr. Vice Chairman. Uh, Chair, can I call me? A payroll warrant number 57 in the amount of $39,003.80, dated 1-14-2019, and a vendor warrant number 58 for $153,845.66. I will second make that. A motion to approve those. I will second that. Motion to remain second in discussion. Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Also have warrant number 59 for payroll, the amount of $33,551.55, and vendor warrant number 60 for $76,251.16, dated 1-21-2019. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, no drawdowns or other invoices. No. Well, we're going to comments concerns, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Okay. Did you guys take a vote on which loader to buy? Did the select board take a vote as to which we, loader you wanted to purchase? Last we have, last Tuesday? Thursday. No. Well, no. the meeting was Thursday, but we actually discussed this Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. Capital was here. I think it was Tuesday, and I or think no, we did we take a vote on anything. It was Monday or Tuesday. We took a vote that night. Monday doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I thought we voted for a loader. A loader. I didn't have a particular. I mean, <clears throat> my comment, I think, at the end of the meeting, was that I'm not qualified to choose a Volvo over a Cat, and I figured the department head 
was more qualified and his group was more qualified to make that decision than I was. Okay, the question. We voted the sum of money of approval. The question was, do you take a vote on which loader? So that's the question. The select board then did, and we voted for a loader. Capital planning did, though, Brian. For which, I'm saying, did you vote for a cat versus a, a Volvo? The select board, no. We voted for a loader, period. Not okay, thank specific. you. That was the question. Yep. What happened to the old detective's car? Okay. It's at the highway barn presently, which will be part of our auction. Um, but it's at the highway barn currently, the old vehicle. Okay, and one last comment. Three years ago, uh, when I ran against Mark for selectman, uh, I had an issue with like $300,000 that didn't add up in my head that was supposed to go towards the town hall. So uh, here's what happens once again. You need a boiler. I'm going to just leave that at that because, uh, you know, uh, I, you know, you really don't want me to get into some of these things. Not in the 300000 I mean, I, I, I remember that conversation, okay. Mr. Corbell, I do. Uh, about okay, that, so, some of so let's, you know, let's be friends. And we'll just, you know. Yep. But, uh, Duly noted. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Seeing none. All righty. Our next meeting is January 29th, 2019 at 7 p.m., which is next Tuesday. Uh, you have anything else to add tonight, John? No, I'm good. Yeah. Other than that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion made. So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, folks. Is this a record? It is, Brian.